Hey everybody, Bridget Lynn Dolgoff, Conscious of Economics and Urban Farm Project. Hey, hope you're doing good. Anyway, just a short video. I've just been um, a lot going on, huge amounts this summer, doing homeless camping. If you haven't seen my blog uh, on my website, coe-llc.com, it's one of the last ones. It's a camping or homeless pedicure. <laughs> it's pretty funny if you need a good laugh. And um, this is where I'm camping right now. And um, there were two. Oops, I'm going to get my finger right there. Turkey vultures that camped out on those rocks. I woke up this morning and they were out there. And it's kind of a relief to see that, you know, the spirits got me. Spirit world, Mother Nature, she got me. And it was a good sign. Um, I got to get kind of close to them and, um, you know, ask what the message was. And the message was all about that the past is clean. And Rudolf Steiner talks about um, birds as being the ones who took on the responsibility, you know, to he heal the um, mental karma that we leave. So ver turkey vultures are very much about the cleanup. And they do an uh, insurmountable job for us on all levels, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. So I was really excited to see them. And I was thinking last night while I was laying in bed before I went to sleep, like, you know, this world is such an effed up world. You come into this world and then you get damaged. And then you have to spend not only this lifetime, but under certain rules of engagement of other religions about this world. You have to keep coming back over and over and over again. So deception at its highest and grandest. Anyway, I need to check on Jen, but I also wanted to. So I was really excited. Come on, over here. She's being bad. <laughs> she's getting older. So she's becoming like the older, the older lady who gets all grouchy. I will not listen to you. <laughs> So I call her Grandma Joe. So I was excited to see the turkey vultures. And sorry, I haven't been doing videos. I've just been, haven't been, had my computer, been able to have my computer up. So I haven't been doing blogs either or Patreon. And I apologize. I just, um, just, you know, been a little bit in over my head. And I've just had to kind of rely, go back on basics, right? All right, there's the bad girl. Okay. So this is my camp, this is my table, and I have everything braced because when the wind blows here, it blows. I'm trying to watch gin and pay attention. <clears throat> this is my other stuff that I may need. And then, you know, I've got my little van, and we had to put the bed in the van because the, um, <clears throat> Which there's a bunch of stuff in there too, but uh, because the tent got mutilated <laughs> by the wind and it was during the day and Jin was trapped in it. Anyway, we're surviving. And um, I just want to say thank you to every single person out there who has reached out and um, and helped out, you know, in whatever way they could. Uh, I just really appreciate everybody and I'm getting stronger and better every day and I'm getting this, you know, homeless camping thing down and, uh, yep. Just working on letting go of the fear. Just let go of the fear. Just let it go. All right, everybody take deep breaths, hang in there. Um, and that's it. All right. I'll talk to you later. Hey, if <clears throat> anybody out there wants to help out, they can reach me by email consciousness of economics at gmail.
is the best one. And then on PayPal, uh, if you go to the my website at the very bottom of every page, uh, on my website, coe-llc.com, um, there's a PayPal. I think I have a Bitcoin. I don't know if the Bitcoin thing works. Um, and I have a Patreon sign up too. So people can give me like even like five bucks a month just, you know, for a while if you feel like it. And I have somebody kind of working out maybe a tent situation. And then I still would like to get a solar water boiler. And also, I think that's it right now of what I need. Okay, everybody. Thanks so much. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.